a train and car leave from Pasadena. California Railroad Station at the same time and a headache for the state fair in Sacramento. The car can drive 60 miles per hour and the train averages 80 miles per hour. If the train arrives at the fair two hours ahead of the car, find the distance from the railroad station to the state fair. So since this is the motion problem, I'm going to graph a chart. where the top row is for distance equals rate times time and the second row is for the car and the third row is for the train. Since car average is 60 miles per hour, we know the rate for the car, so 60 goes in the box and trains average 80 miles per hour, so we put that in the box as well. Now, since we don't know the time, for train or car, we let T be the time. for car. So we let the time that the time that car took t. So when you read the sentence, if the train arrives at the fair two hours ahead of the car, that translates that the train took two hours less than the amount the car took. So train took t minus two hours. Now, distance y we can find by multiplying rate by time. So the distance for C for car will be 60t, and distance for train will be 80 times t minus 2. Now notice that the train and the car took exactly the same distance, so their distance should be equal. So 60t equals 80 times t minus 2. This will be our equation. Now let's solve for t. We have ATT minus 160. So by subtracting ADT from both sides, we have negative 20t equals negative 160. So t equals 8. So car took 8 hours. And then train took two hours less than that, so eight minus two, which is six hours for train. Now, since we have to find the distance from the railroad station to stay fair, we have to substitute t, which is eight hours, into 60t. So this will give us 60 times 8, which is 480 miles. This is our answer.